reacts. Testing, testing, one, two, three, and we are live. What's up, guys? George the Cloud here. My name is Jorge, aka George. Welcome to the channel and welcome to my live. I try to do my rock voice, but uh, it's late at night and there's people here, but you guys get the idea. Today, we're checking out Five Finger Death Punch. This is the way featuring DMX official music video. Five Finger Death Punch, a band that I think was pretty popular back when I was in high school, my later years. This is 2012 13. Uh, haven't heard too much from them. I don't think. Maybe I've heard their sound. I'm just, you know, uh, not super familiar. I don't remember the names of the songs or anything like that, except this one. Uh, Wrong Side of Heaven. I do remember that one a lot. What a banger. It's very powerful. And DMX, I was not too aware of. Um, I mean, the name sounded super familiar, so I just had to look it up here. Uh, DMX, Earl Simmons, known professionally as DMX, was an American rapper and actor regarded as an influential figure in the late 1990s and early 2000s hip hop. His music is characterized by his aggressive rapping style with lyrical content varying from hardcore themes to prayers. DMX began rapping in the early 1990s, uh, passed away, unfortunately, uh, in 2021 at 50 years, gone too soon. Uh, rest in peace uh, to a legend. It seems like I'm just not, you know, uh, I'm not in that spectrum. But uh, so seemingly this would be like a, an odd feature. Uh, so I don't, I don't know how this is, how this is uh, working here. Was it, was it DMX before he, he passed away or, or what? What's happening? Somebody let me know. Explain to me in the comments. But I would not have imagined this this uh, collaboration between two uh, very different genres of music, right? But let's get into it, guys. Get some popcorn, fill up your water, put your headphones on, and let's go. It starts super...
Wow. Um, what an interesting video and collaboration, as I said in the beginning. First things first, we hit the like. We uh, skip this ad as soon as I can because, my God. Sorry you guys had to see that. Hero Wars is out of control. Somebody stop them. Um, subscribed. Already subscribed. Man, already subscribed? What uh, other song did I do from them? Since I subscribed to everyone I watch, I must have reacted to another Five Finger Death Punch video. Oh, here it is. The end. Five months ago. When the, the channel was uh, just, just kind of crawling about a little baby the channel uh but yeah okay so this how do i even describe this i'm assuming the lyrics from uh dmx or the words were you know recorded many years ago uh, before he passed away and then they kind of uh, placed them like in a layer over this and adjusted it to the song i'm not sure if this is the way is a song originally by DMX or if it's um, by Five Finger Death Punch and then they kind of took the voice of DMX from another song and placed it here since it maybe went uh, along, you know, but uh, very cool artistic effects I'm seeing here. Let's start off with the, the black and white. Every time you have a black and white video, it conveys emotion because you're focused on the important things, not the little details, not colors, like nothing is distracting you. It's just, it is what it is. It's what's there. And most of the time it's people. You focus on their faces, their expressions, the instruments. Um, the room is for the most part dark. There's high contrast, right? So uh, things are like easier to see in a way. Look at it. the whole time. I didn't think, you know, and it's probably because I haven't seen him before uh you know the band like this that they would be this sort of expressive maybe dmx was an inspiration to them at some point since the guy is from the 90s and five finger death punch uh when did they form 2005 okay so uh you know a bit after dmx so what i'm getting from this is that um yeah they used to listen to him a lot they're kind of paying tribute to him here idolizing like look at the imagery we're seeing and i like the the contrast the difference between the black and white that we see in the video and the art that is popping up every now and then really good by the way this sort of um what's that called when they have when it's made of glass this is like a uh glass what's the uh what's the word for this yeah like glass something i, I forget i haven't done that ever I haven't done that ever in my life, but I'd be interested to do. See, and it changes a lot. Going back and forth with, see, and then we have like this illustration here, uh, kind of drawn out a very rough sketch of the guitar player, even though this was only here for like a second. They still included it at the top, at the bottom. Uh, so many like imagery uh so much imagery going on and things really quick see that's the thing guys try to watch a music video with the sound on at first obviously and then without the sound and then you could maybe pick up things that you didn't notice the first time and you would just appreciate the video more for what it is and kind of separate it from the music i, I guess that's what i try to do with these reactions and analysis See, there goes the art again. This is really cool. This might even, is this like AI generated or how are, how are they doing this 3D effect? The mic stand with the uh, skull and the spine. Very cool, very heavy metal-esque. And the meaning of the song, he's so expressive here with his eyes, very intense. He's saying he's not an angel, he's not a saint, he's not the devil. He's none of those things. He's human because, because he can still feel pain. 
he has human feelings, emotions, and uh, uh, he he still has like the, the humanity within him. So he's saying that uh, to me, right? This is at least this is the way I'm interpreting this. You guys let me know how you see it, but this is the way. This is the way of life. Is he asking? Is he saying? Is he informing us? This is the way, because. Uh, the rest of the lyrics are kind of pretty abstract maybe oh man i should have had the captions on but it would have been uh overpowered by all the imagery the pearly gates i remember that and ask about to tell me is this the way so he's kind of he's asking and he's telling us he's not sure look at there's so much going on here at the end without the sound this is this is looking a bit crazy Wow, look at all the effects. My god, did you even notice that the first time? And then the colors. Cool. Cool way to end it. And that's the thumbnail as well. Oh, this is the way. Tribute. Tribute to to DMX. Okay. It makes sense. Man, I'm gonna have to listen to more of DMX since I'm not familiar with his music, but apparently it, it goes hard. So let me know in the comments what you would recommend that I listen to DMX. And of course, it's older, right? 90s, early 2000s. So not sure how it would uh, do when, you know, today, you know, listening to that because it, you, you have to kind of mentalize and put yourself in that position, in that time period, in, in his kind of um, environment for it to make more sense. <clears throat> but yeah this is really cool guys i enjoyed it thank you for watching i appreciate it let me know what's next uh hit the like subscribe share and at the end do a flip till the next